What's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at android 8.1.0 oreo lineage os 15.1 no bugs for our grand prime and this is a g530h if you don't already know which model i have this is the g530h xxu and literally you can install this lineage os 15.1 on any kind of g530 that you have the w m b b t s z everything that you have so again hats off to the developers cause i was actually taking a look at the development for this thing and the developers like literally almost gave up for this device cause yeah the processor is pretty popular snapdragon 14 but the kinds of sensors and the motherboard that samsung has used is just completely weird and no other device support it and then again there are just completely different 12 models in this particular phone so then again just hats off to the developers and the installation of this rom is pretty noob friendly like literally this rom comes preloaded with google play store and magic for root and another purposes so literally just hats off to everyone and then again there are no bugs in this rom literally i have found nothing other than that the stock camera can't actually record video you have to actually use any kind of third party app such as footage but then again if you are installing this thing you might be not even using this as a daily driver but as you can see works just fine there is minimum amount of lag but it's bearable like my euphoria just lags like an idiot so, so yeah this is quite impressive considering the 800 mb ram of this thing which is just ridiculous cause literally i bought this grand prime for almost 16000 rupees in 2014 like samsung must have given at least 1.5 gb for this thing but then again let's just explore here you have all of the apps apps open in like 2 seconds as you can see which is uh, quite impressive to be honest and yes there is also go version of this available so it even runs faster but then again it comes with some chop down features which i really don't like coming down to the camera you have snap camera which is then again just amazing camera app you can switch between front and rear cameras just easily you have filters then again pretty handful of mods over here as you can see theater and all of the stuff that you like such as backlit and they all work which is just amazing thing Going over here, you get ton of options such as your normal iOS and stuff. But bottom over here, you can also control the sharpness, contrast, and everything that you like, which is just standard features in the lineage OS ROMs for this device. And then in Android 8.1 features, you get wallpaper API. Then again, the dynamic system here also this is a bit transparent than the Android 8.0 Oreo. And then again, there is no 8.0 Oreo stable for G 530s. There were for some MediaTek devices which would be the 4G. So let's just hop on to the settings. As you can see, in your UI, you get a wide search network and everything just works fine. Go into the battery, battery percentage. Let's just enable it. You can't actually adjust any kind of performance over here, but yeah, you do get battery modes. There is adaptive brightness, but I seriously don't know how it works. Like literally, if you enable it, it does something, but I really don't know how it calculates. Scrolling down, you have normal things such as tap to sleep, double tap to wake is not available. Then again, you also have working live display. So yeah, reduced power consumption is actually available, but it's not an AMOLED panel, so no use. Then you have color calibration, so you can control various kinds of stuff. No saturation, but still works. Scrolling down again, just the normal stuff. Going to the storage, you have in-depth storage info. It's as good as Samsung. You can free up space directly over here, which is good. You have storage manager. You can just turn it on, so it just does everything itself. Go into the system. You have ton of options over here, and yes, thanks to Magix, you can install ton of features over here. Such as right now, I installed like a Pixel experience, which gives me like a Pixel theme, and then again some of the Pixel features, such as this blue accents, the launcher from Pixel 3, and then again you can also add face unlock thanks to Android 8.1, which is just amazing to look at this four-year-old device. Go into the buttons. You can't actually enable navbar. You get various of options, which is cool. System profiles are standard. Status bar gestures, developer options. About phone G five thirty H, and our version eight dot one dot zero, the latest and the greatest. I still can't believe my eyes. This is just amazing, and it's really cool how smoothly it just works. And the security patch is April five, the latest that you can get. And that's pretty much it. And the installation of this is just pretty much simple. You have to install a custom recovery on your device and wipe your system. Go to install, install the ROM, and you are done. That's just it. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. This was a quick little review of the Lineage OS 15.1 for our Grand Prime. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to still see some Grand Prime videos, cause I know developers are working on some things, please let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace.